The students of Guangdong School are having a medical checkup. Hua, Lang, and Yan filled in their medical records and gave them to the nurse. Now they are waiting to see the doctor. Fang Qi Hua? Yes. Follow me, please. First, I need to take your temperature. Okay. Would you open your mouth, please? Thank you. That is 37 degrees Celsius. That's normal. Now, I need to know your height. Would you stand here, please? So I can measure you? Like this. That's fine. You're 1 meter 45 centimeters tall. Wow, last year I was 1 meter and 30. Now, I need to weigh you. Would you get on those scales, please? Oh, I'm 40 kilos. That's good. You can go back to the waiting room now. The doctor will see you in a few minutes. Thank you. I want to ask you a few questions before I start, huh? How old are you? Fourteen. And your height is one meter fifty centimeters? No, I think I'm shorter. The nurse measured me. Oh, how tall are you? One meter forty-five centimeters. I will ask the nurse to check your height again. How heavy are you? I think I'm forty-two kilograms. No, it says on your form that you are forty kilograms. Where were you yesterday, Lan? You didn't come to school. I had a bad cold. I had a headache too. Oh dear, you were sick. How do you feel now? I feel okay, but I'm a little tired. Oh, you should stay inside at recess. The weather's awful today. Did your mum write a sick note for you? No, she didn't. But I had this note from the doctor. That'll be fine. Oh, I see. You had a virus? I hope you will be okay. Thank you. Last semester in Class 7A, there were a total of 112 days absence due to sickness. The total breaks down as follows. Most absences, 43, were due to flu. Then came stomach problems with 37. Toothache came next with 17. Colds accounted for 10 absences. Finally, headaches caused 5 days absence. Record. Record. Follow. Temperature. Normal. Height. High. Measure. Like. Weigh. Heavy. Forename. Surname. Wrong. Cold. Head. Headache. Stomach. Ill. Illness. Inside. Virus. Flu. Absent. A recent survey of teenagers in the USA had some surprising results. 
The survey was a simple one. It asked teenagers, what sports do you like? These were the 10 most popular sports. Baseball was not the most popular choice, even though it is one of the world's most popular games. Millions of people play and watch it all around the world. Surprisingly, many teenagers said they liked table tennis. Good? Well. He's a good soccer player. He plays well. Skillful. Skillfully. He's a skillful volleyball player. He plays skillfully. Slow? Slowly. She's a slow swimmer. She swims slowly. Bad? Badly. She's a bad tennis player. She plays tennis badly. Quick, quickly. She's a quick runner. She runs quickly. Safe, safely. She's a safe cyclist. She cycles safely. Walking is fun. At my school, there are different sports activities, but I only take part in one club called Walking for Fun, or WFF. Last year, there was a district walking competition for school children, and my school team won the first prize. Everybody was so happy and wished to keep this activity. Therefore, we organized this club. The number of participants increases every week. The regular activity of the club is a five kilometer walk to the beach on Sunday morning. Another activity is a walk to school day or WTS day. Members living near school volunteer to take a walk instead of taking motorbike or bicycle trips every Wednesday. Walking is fun, easy and inexpensive activity and people of all ages and abilities can enjoy it. Would you like to play table tennis, Snam? I'd like to, but I can't. That's too bad. I have some homework. I ought to finish it before I play table tennis. Yes, you must do your homework first, but I'll wait for you. It'll take me a few more minutes. No problem. I also have to finish this question for maths tomorrow. Okay, i finished. Oh. I don't have my table tennis paddles with me. Do you have a spare one? Yes, I do. Can I borrow it? Sure. Here you are. Thanks. Okay, let's go. Come and play basketball, Nam. I'm sorry, I don't think I can. That's too bad. Why not? Well, I should clean my room. Can you play on Friday? Yes, I can. All right. See you at 7. Okay, bye. Bye. Most of the world's surface is water. We may know the land very well, but we know very little about the oceans. Until recently, man could not stay underwater for long. A pearl diver, for example, couldn't stay underwater for longer than two minutes. But now, with special breathing equipment, a diver can stay underwater for a long time. After the invention of this equipment, man could swim freely underwater and scuba diving became a popular sport. A Frenchman, Jacques Cousteau, 1910 to 1997, invented a deep sea diving vessel in the early 1940s. In the vessel, he could explore the oceans of the world and study underwater life. Now, 
We can explore the oceans using special TV cameras as well. We can learn more about the undersea world thanks to this invention. Surprise, surprise, result, result, simple. Baseball, athletics, safe, quick, quickly, cyclist, prize, district, wish, competition, organize, organization, participant, increase, aim, clearly, clear, Careless, adult, strict, obey, aware, risk, paddle, paddle, spare, surface, pearl, diver, special, breathing, equipment, invent, invention, scuba, marine, Vessel. Explore. Explore. Exploration. Undersea. Natural. Opportunity. Would you like to have dinner at my house tonight? I'd love to. What time? We have dinner at 7, but you can come before 6.15, so we can watch The Adventure of the Cricket together. Great. I'd like to come and watch that. We don't have a TV at our place. Why not? My aunt and uncle don't like it. They prefer to do other things. Oh, so what do you usually do in the evening? During dinner, we talk about our day. Then, we usually read, and sometimes we play chess. That sounds boring. No, it isn't. I really enjoy it. My family watches television every night. Now that sounds boring to me. I guess we just like to do different things. Would you like to go to the movies this week? That sounds good. What would you like to see? There's a cowboy movie on at the New Age Theater. Okay. Can you make it on Monday night? Sorry, I have to go to the drama club. How about Tuesday? No, sorry. I'm going to see a detective movie with my parents. And I'm busy on Wednesday, too. Are you free on Thursday? No, I'm not. What about Friday? That's okay. Fine, let's go on Friday. TV in Vietnam 30 years ago in Vietnam, very few people had TV sets. These TV owners were very popular. After dinner, their neighbors gathered both inside and outside their houses. Some watched through the windows. 
All evening, they sat and watched the black and white programs. The older people might sleep a little, and the children might play with their friends, but no one went home until the TV programs finished. Times have changed. Today, many families have a TV set. People sit in their own living rooms and watch TV. Life is more comfortable now, but many neighbors don't spend much time together anymore. Do you watch TV, Nan? Not often. There aren't many good programs for teenagers. What kind of programs do you like? I like to watch programs about teenagers in other countries. I want to know what they do, what they wear, what music they like. There are some programs for young people, but older people make them. They don't know what we like. I like sports shows, cartoons, and movies. I don't really like watching sports. I prefer taking part in them. And most of the movies on TV are very old. There are plenty of music programs. Yes, there are, but they don't play the kind of music I like. What are you going to do this evening? Well, I'm not going to watch TV. I'm going to listen to the radio and maybe read a book. What is on TV at six tonight, Lang? Let me see. It's the early news. You want to watch it, don't you? Come on, Lang. I want to watch the movie A Fistful of Dollars. When does it start? It starts at seven o'clock. After the program, the world today at a quarter past six. And what about the weather forecast? What time is it on? It's on at ten past six. But we should watch our children's program. It starts at five. Okay, that sounds great. Popular TV programs. Pop music, pop music or pop, is the short form of popular music. Pop music is for a broad audience. Teenagers like to listen to the latest pop music and see the shows of their favorite artists. Usually, bands and singers perform their latest songs on TV. Contests. Contests are very popular TV programs. There are contests of knowledge, contests of folk music, games. Sports and so on. The contestants are students, workers, or family members. In some contests, TV viewers can join in and answer questions through telephone or by mail. Imports. Imports are foreign series such as Sherlock Holmes. Most imports include police and hospital series. TV stations all over the world show these programs because they can buy them cheaply. News, news, series, series, adventure, adventure, cricket, prefer, chess, guess, detective. On, on. Gather, inside, outside. Program, station. Change, change. Cartoon, cartoon. Maybe, maybe. Broad, broad.
Audience, audience. Artist, artist. Perform, perform. Where are you going, Nam? I'm going to the amusement centre. I'm going to play video games there. How often do you go? Not often. About once a week. Isn't it expensive? Not really. I usually stay for an hour. I don't spend much. You must be careful. Video games can be addictive. Don't spend too much of your time in the arcade. Don't worry. I won't. I have lots of homework to do tonight, so I can only play games for a short time. Please try again. Video games. Millions of young people play video games. Some play them at home, others play them at arcades. The inventors of the games become very rich. Some of the inventors are as young as 14 or 15. These games are good fun, but players must be careful. They should not spend much time on these games because they can become tired or dizzy. Sometimes players spend too much time on their own because they like to play video games so much. One doctor says, This is very bad for your children. They must take part in activities with others. All children should play outdoors and develop their social skills. They should be with people of their own age. Children should spend only a small part of their free time playing video games. They mustn't forget to do other things, too. What do you do in the evening, huh? I go to the school theater club once a week. The rest of the week, I usually stay home. I don't like the city very much. Why don't you like the city? Before I moved here, I lived in a village near Wei. I knew all the people in my neighborhood. Life's different in the city. You can't get to know all your neighbors. There are too many. Yes, I know. The village was quiet, and there was only a little traffic. I hate the noise and the busy roads here. So do I. I live near a busy road. Sometimes... The noise keeps me awake at night. I hate crossing the road most. There are bikes, motorbikes, and cars coming from every direction. They really scare me. You will get used to it so huh? Yes, I guess you're right. Lun was right. Hua soon got used to the busy city traffic. She could cross the road and she wasn't scared. Then her uncle bought her a bike. She began to go out more often in the evening. Usually, she visited her friends. They talked and listened to music or helped each other with their homework. Sometimes, they played table tennis together. Lun also taught Hua to play chess. She liked playing chess very much. Hua really went to see movies or ate out in the evening. Everything was far too expensive.
She preferred to socialise with her friends. She enjoyed it and it cost nothing. Then one day, Lan and Hua went to the public library. Hua liked to read. There wasn't a library in her village, so she couldn't read many books. The public library in the city had thousands of books, and Hua began to borrow books regularly. She decided that the city wasn't so bad after all. Yesterday evening, Ba played table tennis. Nya saw a movie. Lan went to a restaurant. Hua played chess. Num listened to CDs. An watched a soccer match. Amusement. Amusement. Additive. Additive. Arcade. Inventor. Rich. Dizzy. Outdoors. Indoors. Outdoor. Indoor. Indoor. Develop. Develop. Skill. Socialize. Social. Robbery. Rob. Robber. Robber. Education. University. University. Industry. Image. Image. Move. Move. Traffic. Traffic. Noise. Noise. Noisy. Busy. Awake. Awake. Scare. Rarely. Premises. What is that, Ba? It's a postcard from my uncle Nia. He sent it from Bangkok. What is he doing in Bangkok? He's a pilot. It's his job to fly there. How exciting! Does he fly only to Bangkok? No, he flies all over the region. He usually flies to Hong Kong as well as Bangkok. Sometimes he flies to Kuala Lumpur or to Singapore or Jakarta. Occasionally he goes to Phnom Penh, Vientiane, or Yangon. I'd love to see all those places. Me too. My uncle sends me postcards every time he goes away, so I have both postcards and stamps from all those cities. Can I see the stamps? Sure. I'll bring my album to school tomorrow. On Monday, I flew to Bangkok and then to Singapore. I stayed Monday and Tuesday nights in a hotel. Then on Wednesday, I flew to Jakarta. I stayed overnight, and on Thursday, I flew to Bali. I stayed there Thursday and Friday. On Friday night, I went to a cultural show and saw some Balinese dancers. On Saturday, I flew to Hong Kong. I was there overnight. On Sunday, I finally flew back to Hanoi.
Destinations. Southeast Asia has many attractions. If you are interested in history, you could visit many ancient monuments. The attractions range from the beautiful Khmer temples of Angkor Wat to the huge Buddhist temples of Borobudur in Java. You may be interested in the traditions of different cultures. You can see different shows, from colorful dances in Thailand to shadow puppet shows in Indonesia. During these shows, you can listen to and enjoy traditional music. You may prefer the ocean. There are a lot of resorts and thousands of kilometers of beach. You can swim. You can dive and admire corals and fish. You can sail and enjoy a healthy outdoor life. Hello, Liz. What are you doing? I'm studying for a history quiz. Can you help me? Sure. What's the problem? Who's Vo Win Thap? He's a famous general. What's he famous for? That's easy. He's famous for leading the People's Army of Vietnam at Dinh Binh Phu. He was its commander in chief. What happened at Dinh Binh Phu? General Yap's forces defeated the French there in 1954. Do you know when the general was born? In 1920. No, I'm wrong. It was 1911. I remember he was 43 when the People's Army of Vietnam won the battle. Thanks, Ba. You are very good at history. Well, I'm really interested in it, and I have a lot of history books at home. Can I borrow some of them? Sure. Let's go and get some now. The Battle of Dinh Binh Phu ended the Indochina War. Today, Dinh Binh Phu is a tourist destination. Many visitors are battle veterans or members of their families. As well as visiting the battle site, tourists can enjoy the beautiful scenery of the Mung Tan Valley, visit the neighboring villages, and share the hospitality of the local people. Most of the people who live in the area are members of the Thai or Hmong ethnic minorities. However, they do not depend on tourism alone to live. As Dinh Binh Phu is only 30 kilometers from the Lao border, it is an important trading center. Food leaves here for Laos and Thailand. And goods arrive for the northern provinces of Vietnam. Ho Chi Minh was born in 1890 in Nghệ An Province, in the village. Of Kim Lin, when he was 21 years old, he left Vietnam and traveled to Africa, England, and America. After this, he worked in a hotel in London in the early 1900s, then moved to Paris in 1917. He spent six years in Paris, one year in Moscow. And then moved to Guangzhou. He founded the Indo-Chinese Communist Party when he was living in Guangzhou. During the 1930s, Ho Chi Minh continued to travel, and after his return to Vietnam, he formed the Viet Minh in 1941. Four years later, he became president of the Democratic Republic of Vietnam. After Vietnam declared its independence, Ho Chi Minh died in Hanoi in 1969, but he will always be remembered by the Vietnamese people.
Famous, famous. Pilot, pilot. Fly, fly. Region, region. Occasionally, occasionally. Away. Album, destination. Attraction, attraction. Interested. Attract, attract. Ancient, ancient. Monument. Range. Temple. Tradition. Traditional. Culture. Show. Dance. Dance. Puppet. Puppet. Shadow. Resort. Admire. Coral. Tourist. Tourism. Quiz. Quiz. General. General. Lead. Lead. Army. Army. Commander. Force. Defeat. Win. Battle. Battle. War. War. Veteran. Veteran. Sight. Sight. Scenery. Scenery. Share. Valley. Valley. Hospitality. Hospitality. Hospitable. Area. Ethnic. Minority. Depend. Border. Trade. North. Northern. Province. Province. Powerful. Province. Handsome. Funny. Bulba. Establish. Establish. Central. Central. Gramophone. Gramophone. Author. Author. Grow. Grow. Actor. Actor. Poetry. Poetry.